Good evening. It's a stunt even Pauline Hanson admits was extreme. Sitting in the Senate dressed in a burqa to push her campaign for a ban on all religious face coverings. Her actions led to a furious response from the Attorney General George Brandis, who gave her a fiery and emotional blast that brought a standing ovation. Oh. Senators couldn't quite believe their eyes. Oh, what on earth? And the Senate President, Stephen Parry, wasn't entirely sure what to do. I'm just going to reflect on the, on the mode of dress that Senator Hanson um, is, uh, is using. If uh, Senator Hanson can stay here unchallenged, can I appear tomorrow in fancy dress? Pauline Hanson had been asked to remove her headpiece to be identified by the clerk before entering the chamber. Senator Parry revealing the burqa isn't on the list of forbidden Senate attire. Such as... Um, pyjamas and things like that. But when she stood to ask her question... I'm quite happy to remove this because this is not what should belong in this parliament. Giving voice to her obvious point... In light of our national security of this nation, will the Attorney-General then ban the burqa? Attorney-General George Brandis gave her a direct reply... No, we will not be banning the burqa followed by an emotional dressing down, saying maintaining respect for the Muslim community is vital to security intelligence gathering. And to ridicule that community, to drive it into a corner, to mock its religious garments, is an appalling thing to do. And I would ask you to reflect on what you have done. Order. Order. Sparking the rarest of displays in Parliament, a standing ovation from Labor and the Greens, if not from his own senators. <laughs> Malcolm Turnbull said George Brandis had put the government's view perfectly and Labor leader Bill Shorten agreed, although went further, branding Pauline Hanson's display beneath contempt. But Senator Hanson was unrepentant, returning to the chamber. I call on the government to ban full face coverings in public places. And on the way out... This can never be allowed to be part of our future, full face covering in Parliament. Her views now fully unveiled. Mark Riley, 7 News.